Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to integrate Google Docs within N8M. First of all, let's understand together how to integrate Google Docs within N8M and what are the nodes offered by Google Docs inside N8M. To integrate Google Docs, go to your workflow and right click and then click on add node. Look for Google Docs and select it. This is the list of the available actions provided by Google Doc. We have the triggers and the actions. The triggers are used at the beginning of the workflow to trigger it, and the actions can be used within the workflow. The Google Docs node offers three actions, the create a document, get a document, and update a document. Let's go with update a document, for example. Once you add it, you will have to create a credential for your Google Docs account. Now, unlike Google Sheets, this step requires a bit more work inside N8M. So first of all, click on create new credential. You will be directed to this page where you can configure your connection using either OAuth 2 or service account. OAuth 2 is easier, so we'll be using it. Now, unlike Google Sheets, you will not have a button here that says sign into your Google account to automatically link your Google Sheets with N8N, as this requires a bit more configuration. So, we will start by filling the client ID and the client secret. Now, N8N offers a documentation on how to do this and can be found in this website. I will leave the link in the description. So, first of all, we will have to create inside the Google Cloud Console, a new project and an application within it. So you must follow all these steps. I will show you briefly how to do it. So at first, you will have to go to your Google Cloud Console and then go to OAuth consent screen. Here, you will have to create a new project. I have already done that, but you will find a button here that says create a project. You must click on it and configure your project exactly as mentioned in these steps. After you do that, head back to the API and services and go to Credentials, and then click on Create Credentials. Select OAuth Client ID, and you will have to create a new application. Just select the application type, give it a name, and then in the Authorize Redirect URI, just click on Add URI, and go back to your N8N page, and copy this redirect URL, and paste it here. And then click on create. And now you will get your client ID and client secret that you'll be able to copy inside N8N. Just paste the client ID here and the client secret here. After you do that, you will have your application here. Just click on it and then select audience. And for the test users, just add your Gmail account as a test user and then click save. Once you do all of that, you can go back to your N8N and you will see a button appear here that tells you to sign in with your Google account. Just click on it and sign in with your Google account. Now, I already have done all of that, so I will not be repeating it. And just like that, you will have Google Docs configured within your N8N. And now let's jump to a workflow I already prepared for the sake of this tutorial. This workflow consists of a form that you will input your idea here, and then the idea will get passed to an AI agent to write a blog about the idea and then it will be saved inside your google docs document i created an empty google docs document here and i will go step by step through this workflow so to have a form submission here just right click click on add note and then look for forms select n8n form and then in the triggers look for on new n8n form event fill in the information for your form let's say idea give it a description and then set the idea field that the user will be filling. Give it a text area and then make it required. And then save it. And you will have it just like here. After that, we will be adding our AI agent that will be responsible of generating the blog article. Just right click again, click on add note. And then go advanced AI and look for AI agent. Once you do that, you will have to link your AI agent to the on form submission and then configure it. For the source for prompt, just select define below and map it to the result of the form submission. And then go on add options and you will see add the system message here. Click on it and then give your AI agent a system message. I gave it a simple system message. You are an articles writer. You will be provided with a broad idea and you must turn it into a complete article. And then once you do that, just go and select the chat model that your AI agent will be using. For my case, I will be using Grok, the Grok chat model. For that, I I have to create a credential for it and then select the model that will be generating my articles and then click on save you will have it like this after that we'll go ahead and add the same node that we added in the previous workflow which is the update document from google doc and you must link it to the ai agent once you do that just select your credential for the operation select updates and then copy the id or the url of your document or the google docs document that you want to be filling to find the id in the url just copy the url and 
all of this part after the slash here is the id let's copy it and then go back to n8n and paste it here for the action select object text action insert the insert segment in the body because we're filling the body of the document at end of specific position and then for the text map it to the output of the ai agent just to show you how to map just execute previous notes fill the form with test for example and then you will see all the inputs here take the output of the ai agent and map it here I already have done that so I will not be repeating and now we have our workflow ready and let's execute it so for example I will click on test workflow if you don't want to each time head to the workflow and click on test workflow just turn it to active and then copy the production URL of the form and then paste it in your browser to access the form directly for this case let's test the workflow just say I asked it to give me an article about LLMs click on submit you will see that your form and automation is working and then workflow executed successfully if we go here you will see that the document id has been outputted and if we go to the document we will see the content of the article that was generated by the llm and just like that guys you now know how to integrate google docs within your n8n automations and workflows i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial goodbye